this weekend, um, because there's been some questions about it, there is a class coming up called Group Healings, and I want to refine that and just talk about it for a moment, because that way I have to, I won't have to, you know, uh, take care of it later on uh, via writing a, a, a separate letter. Dave will put it out on the blog or whatever. But it takes place this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, October 5th and 6th. And it's interesting because it's one of these classes that will event, it's fallen by the wayside. Once it's run, it's run. It won't have time to do it again. But consider this, a group healing um, is a very, very powerful place to be, a very powerful endeavor. And considering that we are coming full face now to the collapse, there is the opportunities that we had in the past to heal something by ourselves have pretty much vanished because of the, uh, what we're facing um, has gotten so powerful that rarely can one individual take care of, you know, all the things that needs to be taken care of. And let me read what I wrote, first of all, about this class, and then, and, and then um, I'll get into some refinement. And I start out, two questions arise when you read the title of this class. Does this mean the way a group of healers can work together to heal someone or something? Or does it mean healing a negative riff in a group of people? Well, the answer to that question is simply, it's both. Of course, the major part and focus of the class is the various approaches and techniques a group of healers can use to help heal someone who is very sick, lost, searching, or possessed by darkness. That being said, it is not what you think nor anything like you've learned in the past during, uh, in past classes. The techniques, approaches, and formulas and outlines I show you are very new to you and very different. Not only will I teach you the way grandfather taught me and the way he was taught, but I will apply it to our modern lifestyles and unique set of problems we are facing today. Unique is a kind of candy-coated way of putting we're going to get our asses kicked, okay? Here, too, will I teach the methods used both as a real-time group gathering that, and that of a remote healing where the healers are in various locations and time zones. Even with the most remote and scattered of circumstances, there are very powerful ways of bringing a group of together and bond them to the vision at hand. Of course, I will also address how to heal the rifts and arguments found in any group of healers, no matter how experienced and advanced a group is or has become, no matter if they are a group of shaman or a group of master scouts or both, the discord can be found and healed. Yet not only healing, but empowered to a point where the group heals, grows, and becomes closer than ever before. Let's face it, we are facing some of the most difficult times ahead, and a group of healers, visionaries, and shamans can do healings that one person could never do alone, far less attempt to do alone. That is the kind of write-up of the class, but basically, it's going to focus on the group, whether that group is two people or 200 or 2,000, it doesn't make a difference. The approach and the techniques that are used are very scout in orientation and, and uh, formation. It was the scouts who really refined the group healings. And the, the approaches that you use, the techniques, the formulas, are, are vastly different than you're used to, not just because it's a group, but also because of the problems we're facing today, which is horrendous. It's, it's, it's jaw-dropping. I mean, there's no way around it. And like I said, you know, one person cannot take care of even some of the simplest things because the backstory is they've become so powerful and we're so far into the collapse that we're, you know, we're very reluctant to do things on our own. We need the strength and support of a group. A better name for a group is the family. And the interesting thing is, is with this approach, we're going to take real-time situations, people that 
um, are known to several of the members of the class or maybe the whole class and work our miracles that way so that in the final analysis, when we contact that person who was the center of our, our healing focus, the, the results are going to be phenomenal. It's not, not one of these kind of wait and see kind of things. And we're going to be all over the map um, as far as the group healings are concerned from, you know, the, the, the regular diseases and those diseases that have become resistant to our, our pharmacy, so to speak. I'm going to be dealing with affliction, which is a, another very um, intense area because it's born of the chemical cesspool that we live within. Even the ways of assessing and evaluating diseases and illnesses and maladies and everything else um, is different.